Between South Korea and Japan is the East Sea, at its narrowest, separating the mainland of the two countries by less than 200 kilometers. That means if, <clears throat> if Japan has an earthquake, Korea could be hit by a tsunami. It's happened before. So South Korea has set up its first tsunami floodgate, a barrier that will protect against waves almost four meters high. Ian Jin has this story. Standing at the entrance of Samchuk Port in Gangwon Province is South Korea's first tsunami prevention safety tower. It took seven years to complete and cost roughly 38.6 million U.S. dollars. The structure has two 15-story towers, and when put into operation, a huge floodgate slowly descends between the towers. When a tsunami warning is issued, this iron floodgate that's 50 meters long and 7 meters high blocks the entrance to the port. Additionally, a 900-meter-long barrier gate around the floodgate closes to protect the fishing boats at the port as well as the coastal village. The floodgate is designed to prevent flooding from tsunami waves up to 3.7 meters high. We are expecting this to help protect lives, property and livelihoods by minimizing damage to fishing boats, coastal restaurants and houses around the port. If a magnitude 7 earthquake hits the west coast of Japan, this could cause a tsunami to cross the East Sea and hit Korea 90 minutes later. The East Sea is at high risk of earthquake tsunamis because its depth is over 1,000 meters, and there is a high chance of being hit with a magnitude 7 earthquake. In the area of Samchok, where the floodgate has been set up, there have been major tsunamis in 1983 and 1993, which caused five deaths and over 540,000 U.S. dollars in property damage. This flood prevention tower has also become a landmark. The top floor has an observatory open to the public free of charge, where it also hopes to provide earthquake and tsunami-related education programs. Yunjin, Arirang News.